Hi guys, this is Tina here and today I want to show you how to remove the back panel from the Asus N76VZ to upgrade uh, hard drives and RAM. So first of all we need to put something soft under the notebook to prevent any kind of damage on the upper part. You have to unplug the AC connector Then, to be much safer, unplug even the battery, remove it. So, basically here we have the back panel and in this notebook, the Asus N76VZ, we need to unscrew just a single screw to open all the back panels. So, we need a simple screwdriver. So it is open. Uh -huh. You have to softly pull it up, and then it goes. All right. Now, just right here, we have the RAM slots, two slots, and I already put it inside the Corsair Vengeance RAM. Then we have the two hard drives. This is the principal hard drive, this is the secondary. And here I already put it in the SSD, but now we can unplug it. You have just four screws here to unscrew. So we can softly pull it back, and here it goes, you see, Neutron GTX 240GB, so you have this 4 screw slot to lock the hard drive on the notebook, and other 4 screws to hold the adapter to the actual SSD. The original hard drive, I just decided to put it inside here. You can see it was an Itachi. So this is just to connect it and I can recommend you when you buy an SSD and decide to install the operative system on it, just keep your old HDD with the, the operative system inside for any kind of trouble you can just plug in back this HDD and restart your computer without any kind of problem. Okay, here we are inside. So now about the RAM. I hope you see better. This are the two slots, one on the other, and you have just two side holder, you have to pull it, and then the RAM drives come off. Now we can put back the RAM, and you can't go wrong, because of this missed tooth, I can say, and you stick it back inside, and then pull it down and it's locked again. For the second slot it's pretty much the same but we have to remove before the first one. Then we are actually done. We can put back the back panel first at the bottom inside then you have to help yourself with your hands and finally just Put in the screw, and here we are. It's perfect. So now let's boot up the computer and see the differences between the notebook with the HDD stock 
and the improvement with the SSD.